On Monday, Stony Brook University was named the number one public university in New York and was ranked number 77 nationally, according to the U.S. News and World Report. Today, we are here with Vice President and Provost of Stony Brook University, Carl Lejoy. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. So, you're new here. What attracted you to Stony Brook? Well, you mentioned Stony Brook being the number one public university in New York, but quite frankly, it's one of the best universities anywhere. We have amazing faculty doing research across every discipline. We have really hardworking, dedicated staff. The university does so much to support the community, but most importantly, we have amazing students. And to be able to come here, a place where my mentor in undergraduate actually got his PhD, has really been an honor for me. And as great as Stony Brook University is, there's always room for improvement. So what kind of change or anything like that will you implement into the university? Yeah, so you mentioned the idea of always trying to build on what's here already. And I think being able to make this a university as much as possible where everyone feels included, like they have a great opportunity to figure out who they are, what's important to them, to take risks, and to learn about themselves. And so really creating that inclusive, welcoming environment to help everyone be everything they can be. Definitely. And how do you think you're going to get involved in the Seawolf life on campus? Well, I, I mean, I already have. I mean, I've been so welcomed here, and I just want to keep meeting as many people as possible because my job is to be an advocate for the great work that we have here and to tell the Stony Brook story. We don't always do that as much as we can, but it's an amazing story. And as a first-generation college student, I connect with so many of our students who for the first time, they're really getting a chance to figure out who they are and what their life's going to be. And what is one piece of advice you could give to our Stony Brook students? Oh, meet faculty as quickly as you can. I waited until I was a senior, and I really missed out on a lot of opportunities. It not only gave me a chance to do research and, and develop my uh, kind of interests, but it also helped me figure out who I was as a person. And having that connection is just so valuable, and it's something that we're really able to offer here. Thank you so much for being here today at the Halftime Report and for just meeting with us. Oh, thank you, Danielle. Good luck to you um, for the rest of your time here at Stony Brook. After the break, we will send you back to Laval Stadium for highlights and an analysis of the first half of the game. Stay with us. <laughs> 